Hi, this is a quick overview of new features in BlueUp 2.25. Uh, although most of the stuff is done on the uh, RPG engine level and you won't see it, it's like optimizing the core to work with the hardware version, uh, fixing some minor issues, but still some changes to the GUI and we will uh, walk through them. First of all, on this left panel I don't have uh, enough space already to place all the controls, so I split them into pages this way, but the structure is exactly the same only slight changes. First of all, input filter. All the same except missing key substitution. It was one setting, now it's two settings. Uh, you would have in the previous version like cyclic plus one octave, cyclic minus one octave. Now if you want cyclic plus one octave, you made two selections. Here cyclic and here plus one octave. Pretty easy. Input quantize is now Programmable related, it was bank related. You see this P letter, it means it's program related. So if you have chain with several programs, make sure you have the same input quantize setting for them. Next, uh, arpeggiator engine, uh, all the same in this block. Force to scale, root key and scale, exactly the same. Force to scale mode is the new setting in 225. To show you, let's go to some simple example. Uh, force to scale A minor and I will do some random scale step transpositions. Really random. The thing is whether I press, uh, whether I press G or G sharp it doesn't make any difference because G sharp is forced to G. G sharp is out of A minor, a minor scale. So no difference on these two, but if I change the settings to semi-transpose, it means that only steps with non-zero transposition will be forced to scale, and the steps with zero transposition will not be forced to scale. So here now they are different may be useful in some cases. Back to the default setting. Uh, we're pretty much done here. Uh, yeah, and one more thing. Program change send bank message. Uh, it was in 224 already. If you controlling, uh, if you're basically changing the programs with the chains, say you have hardware synth connected to Blurp and you have some non-zero patch number here, uh, then for some hardware synths, uh, this setting may not work, and you need to select either this one or this one. If you are not into MIDI technical stuff, then just try all of them if the default one doesn't work for you. Okay, back to initial program. And uh, we have output filter to check. Still um, everything the same here, except these three uh, settings. Finally, I added some randomization stuff to the blur up, so we have randomized for velocity, gate and start time. Uh, my Celent 1 patch is uh, velocity sensitive, so I have velocity linked to filter cutoff. And first of all, randomize velocity. Now we have flat, all velocities are the same. Now randomizing velocity. You hear some slight differences in the brightness of the notes, and here it will be even more. So might be useful in some cases. Uh, the same applies to gate. Let's me, let me first uh, decrease it to make it more clear. Now it's flat, the same gate for all the notes, and increasing the setting. Mm. 
and now it's clearly audible I think. Again slide settings may help to humanize the sequence in some cases. Randomizing start does the same uh, to the start time of the note. It's, it's way too much, sounds like a mess, but again slide settings may help to humanize the pattern, I think especially for drums and guitar and this kind of stuff. <clears throat> and we're pretty much done here, I think. Uh, next important thing, I have the new factory bank. Uh, pretty much extended almost uh, twice the number of programs. 120, 28 of them in the bank. And there are two technical programs, uh, which is a silent dummy and MIDI through dummy. Silent dummy is basically silent program. All the steps are mute, does nothing. More useful one is this MIDI through. <clears throat> In this mode it acts just like uh, uh, passes all the notes as they are, but still you can use... In chains, for instance, if you want a particular chain just uh, to pass through notes to play the pad, for example, use this program 3 in the factory bank. But still, transposition works. Transposition, input filter works. For instance, if I say, if I say B5, it's, it's nothing here works only for this range. And even input quantize works. I spent pretty a lot of time to make it work actually. So if you set it to one eighth, for example. So Blue Arp can be used as a live quantization tool also. <coughs> um, some new stuff here on the value bars basically uh, initialize, shift up and down. Let's show it on some different program, for example Octave. You can just move it up and down, you can initialize it. For key select there is also flip values option which basically flips them upside down. Uh, set all to fixed. If you are making some kind of fixed sequences and initialize. In the menu some new stuff like you can uh, copy programs for example, I want to copy this one to some to some different slot and to paste overwrite. Yeah, and paste overwrite will replace the current program and insert will kind of insert a new program and shift all the other programs to the right. So for example, I have this thunder pattern here, slot 16, and if I Insert initial program. It will shift my program from 16 to 17 and all the rest. And basically if you are doing this kind of stuff with programs, it will take care of the chains. For example program 43 here on chain 2. But if I insert some new program here, insert initial, then on my chain it's already program 44, so it takes care of that. You can insert and delete programs and your chains will still work. If they... if it's not the programs you delete which are used in the chains, of course. <coughs> and this is, I believe, pretty much it. Uh, a lot of new stuff in the bank again. Uh, I will make a separate video for that. And now that's all. Thanks for watching.